it was not easy in these final tumultuous days to get the big man's attention. It was a lot to ask, given the enormous demand for interviews and access by journalists and admirers the world round. When Ferran Adria announced he was going to close El Bulli, it shook the world of gastronomy. But for him, inventing new dishes, serving them to an ever larger public was not enough. He needed both a new challenge and a next step beyond the confines of four walls and a restaurant business. So this would be my last meal at El Bulli. The menu at El Bulli, an ever fluctuating sequence of somewhere between 35 to 50 or more courses, changes every year. This is an entirely new menu, not just from the last time I ate here in 2002, but from last year's dishes too. There are a few riffs on sentimental favorites, however, because, let's face it, it's a sentimental occasion. This, this is it. The meal begins with a series of cocktails. They may look like kitty treats, but are in fact deliciously and strongly alcoholic in content. Caipirinha canes, sugar cane infused with cachaça and rum. In the soul, the Cuba. My old friend who I helped plate yesterday, the flauta mojito. Mm. On the and beach. Huh? A beach, yeah, perfect. It's quite right. A cotton candy pina colada. Fantastic. Mm. Oh, wow. This is like a real piña colada. Better. The quality here of the pineapple, the quality of the coconut. A frozen, kind of, hot gin fizz. Two textures, Wow. two different temperatures. Hot when it hits the lip, freezing when swallowed. How, wow. <laughs> and then it's a very good gin fizz. Mm. A globe, a sphere of gorgonzola cheese. A dinosaur's egg. Not neck. Yeah. The consistency of chocolate egg, but the flavor of a ripe, creamy, sweet oh. Italian cheese. Mm. It's uh, like a white chocolate texture. It's awesome. It's cheese. Oh, oh, oh. A single langoustine. The head cooked, the tail just lightly heated. The combination just right. This is Japan. But this is Catalonia. Tail first. Good morning. Oh. Hey. Hey, hey. I don't cook, but no. He likes to say that for a cook to show if really he's a cook, you give them. One langoustine, only one langoustine, and algo mágico. You know, you can say the same thing about an eater. If they don't suck the head. Yeah, 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 yeah. The perfect yeah. test yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. the cook, for the cook and for the... but also for the eater. Lately, Ferran has been concentrating on sequencing, essentially building a specific cumulative experience through related flavors. The soy matchsticks and the nori patty are parts one and two of a Japanese sequence. Meanwhile, a quick dashi broth brews tableside. One. Right. Lemon. And seaweed. Oh, man. Oh. Then raw, high-test tuna belly is served over a delicate pillow of tuna bone marrow. Notice, this is the first time in the meal I've been given a spoon or fork or any kind of utensil. <laughs> Orgasmic. Tofu. Bland, right? Here, it's transformed into a savory play on tiramisu with layers of freeze-dried tofu, concentrated soy sauce, sake, and tofu espuma. The look says Italian dessert, but the flavors, something else. Japan tiramisu. This is a work of art. Little, 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 little. Okay. And the broth, it perfectly complements the taste and texture of the tiramisu. Other than the fact that it's delicious, I think this is really respectful of Japanese food. This is no, not fusion. No, no, no fusion. Not, no not fusion. zero. If it was Japanese, this is what he would be. <laughs> Rhythm and timing is everything. The courses here come fast. 
You're not sitting around waiting for the next thing. It comes in a perfectly timed stream. Got truffles? Fresh, seasonal, incredibly expensive black truffles, for instance? This dish is basically making one of the most inexpensive preparations in the world, a simple pom ana, with one of the world's most expensive and luxurious ingredients. No human being deserves this. I certainly don't. This dish, I feel guilty. I feel like I just my best friend's wife. I mean, I feel guilty showing anyone pictures of that. I feel guilty telling anyone about it. I feel guilty eating it. So these are like like a braised endive? Uh, raw and cooked together. Oh. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, it's more truffle coming. Guilt tastes good. Oh, I'm going to hell. Hey, it's very classic, eh? Hey, very classic. Something like Escoffier uh, braised uh, braised endive. I know these flavors. You know, I mean, they're they're old friends. Great cooking cultures, even if they don't mix, eventually, I think, come to this universal place of clean flavors and preparations. Don't be fooled. The road here is surely twisting, and the appearances and textures surprising. But the flavors have an integrity that most people outside looking in miss. Oh, 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 that is so amazing. Uh, this I need a picture of. Sorry, I need to look at it later and touch myself. This is the octopus Galician style, okay? yes. the traditional one. The, again. One, two. Right. One, two, three. Perfect. Oh. Little? little? A little, very, very little. One, two, one, two three, four, five. Oh. Oh. Aceitito. So beautiful. I can just watch that all day. Like, sorry, baby octopus. You know what was cool? The sound of oh. Ferran oh. next to me, oh. making little noises oh. of pleasure as he tasted his own food. Mm. Oh, oh. That he was capable of both entertaining others with his work and being entertained himself by it. I love that you're having so much fun at your own restaurant. It's so awesome. Every week, he eats the menu. Because if he gets tired of the menu, that means no one will enjoy the menu. Yo siempre he pensado en que yo quería que la gente lo pasara también como yo. His dream has always been to make sure that everyone will have so much fun, as much fun as he has. This gazpacho and ajo blanco brings us right back to the town of Hospitalet at Andalusia before that. So this is an entire region with centuries of history into one dish. OK, gazpacho is tomato. Ajo blanco is salmon. Ajo blanco is the great grandfather of gazpacho. One is with the Arabs coming to Spain. The other one is with the Spanish people coming back from South America. History in one place. 